you guys giving us a little rundown about your, your characters? Because we're coming into this a little bit cold and trying to understand who you all are playing, what they're about. Sure. So, have you, have, have none of you seen it? Any, uh, any of it? We, we saw, saw the, the six, six minutes. Six minutes, yeah. yeah. Six minutes, and yeah. Which was awesome. Yeah. 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 You guys are in for some awesome. That's what we're going to I don't think you're going to get to watch it for the first time. What was it like when you saw it for the first time? Wow. It was projected down at Comic Con, and yeah. I've said before, and I'll say it again, this is an eight-hour movie. Mm -hmm. And when we was projected down there, we looked at it and went, "This is a film. This looks like a two hundred million dollar movie." Yeah. So it's an eight-hour film. It's, it's going to change the paradigm of things about television. Yeah, I mean, basically, you know, it's kind of give you a, a quick rundown on how it works. Uh, there's there's historical characters in it. There's the characters from. You know, from Treasure Island, and then there's also just characters that have been developed by the writers and the uh, as well. So there's kind of there's kind of three groups of characters in that way. Uh, I play one of the characters who is uh, is, a, is a real man that existed uh, you know, back in the early 1700s. It starts in 1715. Uh, you know, the golden age of piracy, so uh, not the golden age of cable television. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and so, and uh, you know, Charles Lane is. There's a lot about him written, which you can all research. You can literally Google Charles Lane, and there's a, there's a Wikipedia page for these things. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but what there isn't is uh, there's a chronology of uh, ships that were taken, acts that were you know when, when he did this and who was killed and, and how much money was changed hands. But there's not much about the man himself, uh, who he who he was, how he felt about this, why he did this, where he was born, what, you know, whether he had parents or was an orphan, did he grow up on a ship or on the land, or all those things. So uh, it's kind of a cool character to, to play one of these where you're kind of mixing what you know happened with uh, what, what you're kind of coming up with. And then there's characters like, you know, like Art, who is going to tell you about this kind of time. Because <laughs> <laughs> I am not going to tell you about <laughs> Uh, I played a character called Gates, who was the quartermaster uh, of the Royals. And historically, the, the quartermaster ran the boat, basically, when they weren't in battle. Historically, what happened was that the captain was in charge when they were actually in the battle, and then his, his you know, command was the ship was run by the quartermaster and the boat. And both of those guys and the captain were voted in by the crew. So Gates, as the quartermaster, is the nexus point of this the will, the democratic will of the crew, which they have to manage and cajole and focus, and also carries out the, the will of the captain when they're in, in battle. In this case, um, Flint and Gates are old friends, and Gates respects Flint's seamanship and his prowess as a fighting captain, and that's the basis of their, really, of their relationship. And from an audience point of view, I guess he's the audience's eye inside of all of these different worlds, the political, the, on the ship, within the traders, within the different groupings that revolve around this whole story, he's kind of like the audience's view peeking into some of these these worlds, and it's, it's just a great part of it, it's great fun. Tell us a little bit about pirate skills, I'm assuming you guys don't grow up with all these pirate skills yourselves. Well, I'm the youngest of three boys, so... <laughs> <laughs> Survival. I basically just had my ass kicked. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, so I, I think that's one of the big pirate skills. But we actually, I mean, Mark, Mark kind of is, on his, is, is someone we all look to uh, in the past for that kind of stuff, because he has some of the most experience with this prior to the project, uh, and all of us still work, and, Accuracy. Whereas me, I kind of I was very new to uh, to sword work and to the world of pirates and whatnot. Um, and so I, 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 they actually made me go to pirate school. Like, pirate school. <laughs> yeah. I was already, yeah. <laughs> you know. Um, and so you know, there's a lot, a, a lot of, a lot of, work, a lot of work. And for me too. I mean, I, I speak in an American accent, and I'm not doing that on the show. I'm not doing any chats, and so there's obviously that work. Physical training. Uh, you know, these guys were out to ships. There's not that much nutrition. They're not. You know, they don't have like an organic garden on the boat, you know, or anything like that. Although I was challenged. Um, and uh, 
and, and so a lot of that, you know, uh, and we spend a lot of time doing manual labor and ships are hard, so you know, getting meaning out, uh, you know, being sinewy, so to speak. Um, you know, uh, a lot of that was, was, the, was the training kind of period for me, and then uh, I'm still not quite moving out, stuff like that as well. You train hard, these guys train hard, let me tell you. I often used to go, man, I, I've never, for a TV show, seen guys so dedicated to physically keeping in shape and keeping their skills up. These guys worked hard, right? It was, I used to go, wow, but I'm not up to do that. <laughs> you get to a certain age when you become a mature <laughs> actor like myself, and they go, you don't know, Mark, you're so cold. I mean, yeah. it's like the, some of the, the, the sex scenes. I mean, oh, yeah. you know, the six-pack pirate here, right? And I kept going... <laughs> Look, stars guys, if you really need me to be in one of these scenes, I'm happy to take my clothes off. And they went, no, you. You keep your clothes on. I went, no, I'm happy if you want me in the I'm happy, not a problem. They went, no, we want the show to be a success. You will keep your clothes on. Wow. And also, during the training, I said, Mark was nice enough to lend me his hair from the project. Yes. So, you know, thank you, Mark, for that. Um, I used to have to pat down my head because they got bounced off the light blinding the other actors. It was a technique I used a lot with Toby Stevens, I said. Blind him. <laughs> Blind him in a scene. So was, when you see him squinting in a scene with me, he's the glare off my loaf is like reflecting. I don't know if you saw him in the scene. He's also got a, he's got a tattoo on the back of his head uh, in, the, in the show. It's yes, fantastic. I do. I think that's smart as well. They've got some whole plans on my head. Going back to this question, Mark, you have a ton of experience in, in this area. Yeah, going all the way back to Robin Sherwood days and so forth. You've worked on yeah. films, you know, instructing people and so forth. Does that is that at all part of your job now, or do you have to sort of sit back and go, you know, you're doing that wrong? I mean, can you still share I some of that? I was desperate to get into the fights, and, and, I, and <laughs> but the, it's there comes a point. Like I've, I've been very lucky. I've been very. Uh, I've had a very eclectic career. And so I'd, I'd worked with Bob Anderson on the first night, I choreographed King Arthur, I did Robin of Sherwood, so horses and bows and arrows and swords have, worked, have been a very big part of my life. And there comes a point where you go, the young books have to take over this role. Mm -hmm. uh, and so they, and they did really, really well. They, I have to say they trained very hard and it looks brutal in Britain. So uh, I was just, I'd look over a couple of times and, and you know, just give them a little support, but uh, no, I'm not in the midst. But they had an amazing stunt team down there. The guys yeah. the stunt team were fantastic. So yeah, it was great fun to be. I a little bit was a little bit frustrated because I wanted to be in the middle of that, but you know, you have to leave it for the young bucks to be. And there was a lot of. I mean, there's really a, a, a great team in this. You know, our, even like down to you know, our second unit, which, uh, which shoots a lot of the action stuff. Yeah, um, Nick. I mean, the second unit director, Nick. Uh, if you you like go online and you look at what he's done, he's done. you go like, I'm, oh my god, I'm so happy. Basically, shot like everything. <laughs> so, I'm glad we ate it. And like, I mean, it, it's it's amazing. And he's he's the one in there, you know, doing a lot of that, working with the stunt choreography and actually shooting it the way it's shot so that it, it looks the way it's supposed to. And it, 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 it wasn't long before it was very easy to put your trust in the, the people that they had assembled to do this because it was clear that they had assembled an amazing team and uh, that we should just listen to the legends. I think that's what brings the cinema edge to this particular show is that all the heads of the department from the maker that worked on Harry Potter you got Nick who worked on Gladiator, we got uh, the GP who worked on Transformers and the Bourne movies. So the actual feel of it is very, very film, it's very cinema and feel to it. It's, and it's, so, but yeah, thank you. I, I would love to get involved in all of that, but um, maybe some other time. <laughs> well, you're hoping for a long run on this series. So. Oh, yeah. I cool. think this is going to we already got a second series before the first is even aired, so, yeah, that's actually it's incredible. Be an hour. It's definitely going to be an 18-hour movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's already an 8, so it's definitely going to be an 18 isn't that it's incredible that yeah. the reaction to this show has been so Comic -Con. visceral? Yeah. yeah. You know, there's, there's the, 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 the need for this type of show has been out there, and this is obviously going to fill that gap. The people yeah. reacted to it already. It's not even aired yet, yeah. and it's already got this feeling. Exactly. Yeah, I'm so used to uh, like, you know, stopping taking photos with people from 
be showing us and stuff. And like, I'm already taking pictures all the time around like the world with people who look like, are like, you're that buyer from Black Sails? And I'm like, how the fuck do you know? <laughs> I haven't, I haven't even seen it yet. Like, I, I, I just recently got to see it. Like, like what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen an uptick since Comic Con? Because that's really uh, kind so, of the first. Yeah, so I, I saw, I saw, of course, you know, that, that first one at Comic Con, mm -hmm. and uh, that's the only version I've seen of that one. But I just in uh, in we were just in Memcom, and uh, a couple of us like assaulted John and like huh. like stole the computer. We're like we are watching this, <laughs> so we sat down, and uh, I, I was lucky enough to watch uh, two through seven. Oh wow! Run. And uh, I tell you, it just gets better each episode, and uh, I, I, I can still have really involved in this. Uh, so Wonderful. Thank you. A lot of shows, when you, you start to watch a show, it starts big, and you get sucked in, it's right. like a bait and switch, and then it kind of trails off, right? This starts big and gets humongous. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> stuff. By the time you're watching like five or six, you're like, you're like, you're like one, you're like, it's so good, and then like you're watching five or six, and you're like. Oh, this is like, it's okay. What? Oh my God! Like, you know, it's, like, it's really it's kind of my way. That's awesome. The bills and bills and bills. It gets more convoluted, more passionate. The relationships get more complex. And the risks get higher. It just it builds. Because in reality, I mean, it's such a big world. It, it takes a you know, it takes a while before you even know all of the people who are in it, mm -hmm. uh, or, or think you know all the people, right. um, and before you even kind of understand what the politics are. So. It's, uh, we're looking forward to it. Yes, very much. Thank you so much. <laughs>